Hey guys, I am really happy to finally, after many months, introduce to you OpenJS Grid version 2. This has been a long time coming, and I want to thank all of you who downloaded and used the old version of OpenJS Grid up to version 1.9. I think we had well over 6,000 downloads, which is a huge number for me, so thank you very much. This next iteration of OpenJS Grid is huge for me. It's taking into account everything that I've learned over the past couple years, well, I guess months in JavaScript, um, the biggest change that you'll see is that the grid is completely object-oriented now. Not only is it completely object-oriented, which is great for developers, it also has a fully written API. So you can come down to the page here and see all these examples, but furthermore you can see all of the API documentation for each object. So the grid object, the, uh, the PHP API, and the jQuery plugin API. And you can see that we even go into the properties and methods of each of the objects on the thing. Not only that, this whole page is actually responsive. So even the API docs are smart. So if I decrease the page, you can see I get a one column view. And for those of you who are like me and have a giant 27 inch monitor, it actually will expand to three columns. So if you're doing some hardcore dev and you need to see all three columns, you can do that here for this rest of the screencast. I will go back down to two. So examples, API fully written out, done in object oriented. So what are some of the big features of OpenJS Script that I want to tell you about as an overview? I'm going to dive into each of the features in detail in other videos. This one I'm just going to kind of do a general overview. So biggest feature, like I said, is that it's object oriented. Second biggest feature, all of the user interface is done with Bootstrap. Bootstrap is an interface language. Uh, well, it's an interface concept that uh, is by Twitter, I guess, and uh, and they have some really cool buttons and uh, CSS components and things like that. So that's built in. Bootstrap is used. It looks really nice. It looks nice and slick. Bootstrap. Also, all the CSS, you don't have to use it, but it's written in Stylus. Stylus is a CSS preprocessor that makes writing CSS awesome. Also, with Stylus, we have Nib, which helps for cross-browser compatibility. So we have Stylus, we have Bootstrap. Uh, behind the scenes, behind the object orientedness, is a thing that I wrote called root.js, which allows us to have object inheritance. I'll get into that later. Also, as you can see here, uh, OpenJS Grid is on GitHub. So you can download it on GitHub, you can clone the repo, you can be up to date with me, you can put in issues, you can make pull requests for your own stuff, you can read my little my little uh, documentation thing here, which I wrote with this awesome program called Moi, I think which allows me to do uh, Markdown, which is freaking awesome. I'm really happy with Markdown, but it allows me to kind of do the Markdown like this. It's badass. Anyway, so OpenJS Grid, big features. Let me uh, just go through a little bit of the features real quick, and then I'll call it a day. And uh, I'll, over time here, make videos on each of the components. But uh, hopefully I made this page well enough that you can just hop in here, download it, and start using it. So we've got uh, scrolling of the whole grid, which is a pretty standard feature. You can uh, sort the columns by clicking the headers like you always could. You can uh, resize the columns like that, like you always could. Um, you can have editing, so all of these cells are editable, so 235, and the save button lights up, so I can, I can save. I have custom dialog boxes that you can edit yourself that show me things that are happening. Uh, you can delete rows like this, and I can delete. So we've got the confirm boxes, and we have alert boxes. We've got drop downs, which are now combined into a single Ajax call which is super, super efficient. This thing loads so fast, and it's completely done so differently and so much better. It's also tableless. I forgot to mention that. You set it up with a table. Down here, you can see in the HTML setup, we set it up as a normal table. But when you actually check out the grid itself, it's all divs. So it's, it's, it's a much better uh, HTML experience because it's, because it's all divs and not using tables anymore. And the setup is just as easy as it always was. The script is simply .grid, and the PHP is very simple. Save and delete, set to true requiring the grid, the grid class. So very simple. We've got a brand new pager with next and prev like we had before. This time it's uh, super efficient and we have a slider here for uh, going from pages. So you can actually slide all the way to the end if you really want to for uh, tables that have lots of rows. You can also set your page here. Uh, this is also touch enabled on touch devices, so is the scrolling. It's all touch enabled. You can also filter the grid by typing here, so I can type in fusion, and if I hit enter, it actually does that search back to the database. So we have the same filtering and searching as we did before, only this time it's a lot more performant. We also have uh, images, as you can see here, and we have special linking that allow you to link with other data in the grid. 
we have special types that you can use so the edit is actually a type and we also have money as a type you actually can make your own types as well all documented below I talked about linking and images you can also have checkboxes that get that uh, you can add to the rows and you can have row numbering these are all automatically created here for you not to mention that we have a whole ton of events that the, that the grid fires so when you click a row an event will fire a quick example of that is down here custom callbacks so if I click this cell so down here you can see I have a cell click which will use my notify plugin so if I click that you can see that it actually notifies me for a few seconds so 800 milliseconds it loads me for and so you can use the the uh, you can use that if you want or you can do something else to happen we have row click cell click we've got the check row when you click the checkbox and we've got uh, a bunch of other clicks so all of that is in here I've got all these examples written out for you how to do special things like adding a column dynamically so these columns are added in JavaScript so you can do action buttons for example and you can have a sample alert box and sample confirm box etc so we have a lot to hear I want you to take some time and look at it if you want you can hop right in and uh, and use it at will I th is there anything else I want to tell you about this uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to tell you about it now I think I'm gonna make special videos on each of the parts um, Cool. So enjoy OpenJS Grid version 2. If you find problems with OpenJS Grid version 2, please report them in the issue tracker right here. Issues. Boom. Right there. And I please, when you get the code for this, uh, please click this button. This allows me to kind of track who's downloading it. Using GitHub, I can't really track it. So please use this button to download it so I know that people are using it because I want to know if people are using it so I can make it better. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the new version of OpenJS Grid. Uh, there's a lot more details that I didn't even get a chance to tell you about. Um, and if you have questions, post them in the video below. Thank you very much.